Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. This is gonna be another What's New This Week video. I'm gonna start off with a particular product that um, Ashkin Curls here on YouTube has spoken about for quite some time. And as soon as they had a sale, and in fact, they had a code during, I believe it was the month of April, using uh, Ashkin Curls was the code that you can use and get a percentage off. And I said, now is as good a time as any to actually purchase this product. And it's from Sorenzo Beauty. This is the first thing I've ever purchased from Sorenzo Beauty. And it is the, uh, well, I got the scent Vava vanilla va vanilla and I think you can get it in a variety of scents as well if I recall but this is their clay wash and if you look at the ingredients um, water is first and then bentonite clay I'm not sure that you can see it so well with the print but we'll go ahead and oh yeah there you go and give that a try you may want to pause that and check out the full ingredient list but essentially it's a clay wash looks like this so you're not supposed to use it every day or anything like that or every time you wash your hair it is like if you think of how you would use a bentonite clay wash right you're not going to use that every time it's like a detox for your hair so um, I use this I can tell you the first time that I used it was just like a little sampling like I took a little strand of hair and I put it on my dry hair mind you that's not what the instructions say you should do and then I washed it out and I said uh, no I let it sit for a while and then I washed it up because I was thinking of like how I used to use the Aztec clay wash that I would prepare myself and put on my hair no follow the instructions so and so I used it and I was like oh I'm not really sure I don't know then I said let me just read the instructions read the instructions it says you know wet your hair and then put this product in and absolutely I was able to get my fingers through my hair so easily um it was just really really nice my curls were absolutely popping they look nice and coily uh well as much as my hair can coil because I don't really have like those actual coil pads. In some areas maybe mm, just a little bit but for the most part I don't. It's really Z formation if anything at all and um but however whatever my hair does it was doing it and I, it was doing it because I put this in it and I washed my hair and it really did feel clean. It did not feel stripped. It felt very nice so I'm happy with this product. I can definitely see myself getting it again like during Black Friday or whatever because they say use this within nine months of purchase and I got four jars so I should... Oh, I think I gave some, oh, I think I have four jars. So I would be able to finish this by Black Friday for sure, especially because you're not using this every week or anything like that. And uh, yeah, so I like this and this is from Sorenzo Beauty. But of course, I couldn't just check out with just this one thing from Sorenzo Beauty. I wanted to check out and sample a couple of the other items there. So let me just show you, let me, I dropped the lid, so let me get that. Okay, so the other things that I picked up from Sorenzo Beauty, um... Okay, I got the, in the scent, Juicy Avocado, uh, the Avocado Heavy Cream. So I picked that up and it looks like this. Oh, that has hair in it. Sorry. Okay, I can tell you when this goes on, even though it feels like light, just as I'm, you know, kind of rubbing, look how that rubbed in so easily, right? So, and it, you see it has like the nice little shine. I feel like this feels light when I'm putting it on even though it's called heavy cream this scent smells super good though but anyway so it feels like so sometimes I feel like I apply too much and then when it settles in my hair and it's like drying down it feels greasy to, not greasy oily um to me so just try not to use too much of this in terms of like moisture or anything honestly um I, I wouldn't repurchase this this particular product wasn't for me it didn't leave my hair feeling juicy or anything like that um just while it's wet and on there it definitely does but then after it all dries up it just feels oily um and i don't really go for the oily feeling the other product that i got from Sorenzo beauty is and i also got a body lotion which i didn't bring here to show today but that one was it was okay for me too the scent is del her scents are amazing um but because my skin is very dry i didn't feel like um you know it left me moisturized too 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 or as long as i would have hoped but you know that was just the long and short of it it, it was fine though um it's definitely not the worst like body lotion or anything that I've ever tried. And then Sorenzo Beauty, this uh, Juicy Avocado and Honey Leave-In Conditioner is what I try. I'm telling you, this product right here, and I'm beyond the halfway point of it, and you can see the oils are sitting up here, so I probably need to shake it up a bit, and I'll squeeze some out so you see what it's like. There we go. And you can almost see like little, maybe you can't see it. Yeah, maybe the camera can pick up the, those tiny little black dots like little ingredients yeah I think I see one right there little ingredients in it so anyhow again smells really good 
this one I got in which scent? Oh, Juicy again. So Juicy what? I don't know. I guess Juicy Avocado and Honey is my scent. I don't, I don't remember what I selected, but she has a long list of scent options. I can tell you this one has amazing slip. I mean, it just... Whew, I could just go right through my hair with this lots and lots of slip however <laughs> when it dries again um, I'm I'm not left with because it says this creamy leave-in will hydrate moisturize and soften your strands making them easier for detangling absolutely it makes it easier for detangling um, and while it's still damp in my hair like after I just applied it it feels like it's juicy and everything right but then once it dries it, it doesn't feel moisturized at all so this one isn't for me either but I do love the scent and I love how easily it allows me to detangle my hair I got this from CVS again because I had some uh CVS extra bucks that I need to just burn and there wasn't anything in particular that I needed and this was on sale so I said let me get this because I ended up paying I think the regular price is like $9.99 and by the time I was done I paid like I think three or four dollars or something for this so okay fine so this is Twisted Sista Amazing Dream Curls Cream Gel and it's a hair gel it says with coconut avocado and almond oil I've never used anything from Twisted Sister it looks like look maybe you can see it's shaking like that like a little jelly um, this is kind of the texture of it a little slimy there we go um, I didn't like this at all because it flaked up in my hair um, have you ever tried anything from Twisted Sister this one really 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 um, was flaking a lot so I'll try and see if I could do a couple of things maybe use it in a different way and maybe it wouldn't flake up in my hair in that way who knows but so far I, I don't like that one at all um, but if you've ever tried anything from Twisted Sister do let me know if you've had good results with that particular hair gel or anything else it, it was nice on the definition but when it comes to actually you know looking at my hair I could see the little like white residue okay these are the two hair gels that people have liked I had mentioned this on Instagram the first time I found it and I had already finished that jar this is my second jar this is the coconut eco style I actually do like it even for just raking it through my hair it doesn't leave flakes and it leaves a measure of um it, like it doesn't leave this hard cast on my hair so that if I needed to uh, you know stretch it out or pull it back into a different style I could do that a uh, fair in a fairly easy way and this is $3.79 that I paid just at a beauty supply store store and yeah this is it and originally I was only seeing it in this size this is the 16 16 out okay um but yeah but now I see it in the large tubs the really really big ones and so I've seen those two because originally I was only seeing that size so yeah that's the coconut one then I had to get the flaxseed one because this is the one that everyone was talking about what I can tell you is that I love the lid I love that it's just a pop-up lid and not the screw off like all the other ones so I do love that and I wish they would change the packaging to actually have this because sometimes if your hands are messy or you have gel on it you can just flip it with your elbow and and slide it right on down so I do like that but anyhow this one much like the coconut one also looks like it has little sparkles in it All right so this is the flaxseed one and let me show you the coconut one because that one too maybe I'll show you from the lid because that one is too full maybe you can see it looks like it has little sparkly things in there as well the sparkles do not translate into your hair at all so that's good stuff I used this I tried using this flaxseed one just like on my edges when I first got it just because and ignore that because I'm about to wash my hair and that was like a hair gel that I had at the side but anyhow you know I use this to try and like lay down the hair and I didn't think it was amazing at doing that like even getting my hair to lay down but then I did rake it through my hair to see if you know it would like make it look like a little coily style and it did better with that so it's fine but to me this to me is not better than the coconut one so I do like that one as my favorite I guess eco styler one the green olive oil one is okay too but um I guess I would be sticking with the coconut one and the black castor oil if I don't get it again the black castor oil and flaxseed oil um not at all what it says it says black castor and flaxseed oil <laughs> but I know it's castor oil but anyhow um 
yeah, if I don't get this again, I wouldn't like be crying. It, it was just okay. Nothing special for me. Now, a couple of beauty hacks have hit the market from Shea Moisture. And for those of you who may still be interested in the brand, because I know some of you actually are, then I just want to talk about these as well. Um, before I get to the hacks, let me just show you this. I had gotten this from them like a couple of months ago. They were having a sale on Ulta. And it's the Argan Oil Ground Coffee Scrub. And it's supposed to soften your skin. And it has oils in here. But look, it's essentially coffee. Even when you open the lid, coffee straight coffee scent so um they say that you know using coffee as an exfoliant is really really great so we shall see i haven't used this one yet but i can tell you i just like tested it on my hand and stuff but i haven't used it in the shower on my body i can imagine that your skin really needs to be damp before you put this on because otherwise the pebbles just roll off just roll all around so um yeah word to the wise i can imagine this just being all over the your floor of your shower so here's the update I have since used that scrub I'm about halfway through it is indeed messy because it's not like it's salt or sugar grain so it doesn't just dissolve so you end up having this coffee at the bottom of your tub but you're gonna clean the tub anyway but still it is messy but it does get my skin nice and smooth so it's a toss-up and I don't like smelling like coffee afterwards so mm, I don't know about this one but anyway, getting to the beauty hacks. This also I purchased through Ulta. This is from Shea Moisture, but they've basically just packaged bentonite clay. So then they give you on the back little recipes of what you can do if you want to use it for your face or if you want to use it as a clay for your hair. So they give you those recipes and things that you can mix. You can even find recipes online. So the beauty hack is like they're giving you the bare bones of something and you build it up so it's exactly what you need for your hair. Um, so yeah, it's bentonite clay. So I've used the clay before. I can use it as a facial mask or whatever, um, even on my hair too. So yeah, so that's the clay. And again, because you're getting how much? Seven ounces for whatever the price is there. I believe you can get the Aztec, the jar of it, for a cheaper price. And then the last beauty hack that I got from Shea Moisture is this. Now, you know that I always talk about having like really dry skin and some things just don't moisturize me well in terms of my body. And so I said, okay, this is a nice idea in that you can basically buy a base, which is unscented, and then add to it. This is their moisturizing base. And I'm going to tell you, I specifically left this like this. Um, I have not been dipping into this or, and I didn't scent it up or do anything to it yet because I wanted to come and show you on camera. Essentially, look how much of this jar is empty. Can can you tell? I don't want it to like spill out, but can and it's white on white, so you may not be able. But all this is like a big space, all right here, empty, and it's not filled up to the top. I know in part, I'm sure they left space so that you can add your things in this jar. I do like these kind of containers, though, where you just use that little clasp and seal it down so I'm sure they left some space so that you can add in your oils and you can add in your scent you can add the other things so that it's really moisturizing for your skin and you just mix everything up there and leave it and then use this as your container so sure I, I get it however I would have appreciated just a little bit more product in here but they say this is uh, 10 ounces so I guess it is there we go so this and then they of course sell like their scents like you could get lemongrass oil or this oil or that oil rosemary lavender whatever it is that you like they also sell those as like their beauty hack oils but they're essentially just base oils so you can go to GNC or wherever and get an organic version or you can just use a, a regular version of oil whatever it is that you want and mix those things in here I can tell you that their base it's not necessarily unscented um, because I do get a little scent from it, but it's faint anyway. Um, and it doesn't really smell like anything of note. It's just, you know, whatever. Um, just a, just kind of a bland scent, <laughs> if you will. But it's not unscented. It has a scent, even though they say it's unscented. But anyhow, so I didn't buy their Beauty Hack oils. I did go to GNC in the Now brand. I got the lemon, and I also picked up the orange essential oil. So I was going to mix those up or figure out what I wanted to do. They also suggest that you can put in, like, an almond oil or something, whatever, coconut oil, whatever you feel is going to be moisturizing for your skin. So I haven't added those things in here, but I can tell you this product definitely needs something because just using the base on its own left my skin as if I put absolutely nothing on it so it needs so this is indeed a base it needs things to be added to it if you don't want to add the scent then fine don't add that but it needs something to like moisturize your skin because otherwise this feels absolutely worthless on my skin so you know in the future beauty hacks 
I can create my own thing. I can just kind of ground up uh, shea butter and add oils to it and get something for my body or which I've done in the past on this channel a long, long, long time ago. Um, I don't know if YouTube actually took that down. I may have music playing in the back. That was back when I did the talkies. I wasn't actually on camera. <laughs> and then, um, or you can just get like a regular over-the-counter unscented thing from like drugstore and then add the scents and stuff that you want to it and make it as moisturizing as you need it to be or scented the way you want it to be scented so I wouldn't necessarily go back and get this again <laughs> not for me but yeah so so the update here is yes I did add in coconut oil I also added in both the lemon and the orange oils that I showed on camera it smells actually really good um, in terms of moisturizing my body it's just okay it really doesn't feel any better than anything that I could have purchased uh, over the counter nah, I wouldn't get it again what's new this week and I hope you're all doing well thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you soon bye